Here's your man, Nick Scryer. Facial reconstruction and a memory wipe. Intelligence has the movement attacking the refinery in about 90 hours from now. We're ready with he is. This memory wipe will give us plenty of time to drop him in and get him past the movement psi probes. Mindgate's specialty is psyops. I've done some homework on Mindgate. Your boy's got quite a reputation and it's not all good. Okay, he's no Boy Scout, but Nick Scryer is Mindgate's best. They dismissed General Krieger, but Scryer stayed with Mindgate and took his psychic powers to a new level. Oh. 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 Gentlemen, I am the general. You are my recruits. Your life now belongs to me. 
You will serve, or you will die. Sanders! <laughs> Well, well. Serve or die. Take this one to solitary. finally here. Nick. Nick. Ah. Nick, calm down. How the hell do you know my name? I can help you get out of here, but you have to trust me. Trust you? Trust this for now, at least. Just get out of the cell block and meet me on the supply room on this floor. But who are... Okay, so meet up at the supply room, wherever that is. Damn, she seems familiar. But I don't know whether I should trust her or kill her. Ah, whatever. At least she gave me a gun. It's better than a kick on the nuts.
What took you so long? Where'd they take my squad? The next floor for processing. But you're not ready, Nick. You have to recover your abilities. I'm ready to go now. You need to find some patience or you'll end up joining them. You trust me, don't you? Ah, what was that? It's for your own good, Nick. The hell it is. Who are you? Sarah Blake. I'm working inside the movement as a double agent. I can keep helping you as long as I don't get caught. What did you give me? First things first. You don't have security clearance, but if you trip the switch, all security beams will go down. Then you can make your way to the elevator to get to the second floor. Here's the key to the generator room. Get going before they discover you've escaped. All right, Nick. Let's start your telekinesis train. To keep it simple, I'm going to start referring to telekinesis as TK from now on. Also, we've juiced you up with unlimited psi powers during this test. But remember, in the real world, all psi powers drain with use. We'll skip the spoon bending and start by controlling objects using telekinesis. First, select a target to TK by moving the aim reticle over the object. Always refer to them. All right, Nick. Next, I want you to get over this wall. It's too high for you to jump or climb over, so use T. Nice climbing, Nick. I want you to use telekinesis to move a crate through each hole in the wall. Lift the crate to the desired height and move it forward. Don't throw the crate, it'll break easily. First get a crate through the hole on the lower left. Now move a crate through the hole in the center. Good job, Nick. Now pick up a crate for the last open. Good job, Nick. The next section is through the door behind you. Now to the good stuff. Let's use telekinesis to throw objects at live targets. Uh, don't worry, these guys get well paid. First, use TK to throw a crate at the stationary test subject. Good, that'll teach him. Now try and hit a moving target. Isn't it? Finally, try to hit a target moving on an irregular... Now that you've practiced throwing objects, you can also TK most enemies. Pick up that guy and throw him against the wall a few times. His weapon will drop after he dies. the next time and while he's in the air use your weapon to shoot you've got it Scott. 
try it. Have a gun right in front of you, Nick. Target it, and TK throw it to yourself to collect the ammo. Alright, let's see how you handle a live combat situation. Soldiers will charge into the room and attack you from all sides. Try and use cover while eliminating the threats. Use the explosive barrels to your advantage. You can also use the assault rifle, but don't rely on your gun. Kill the designated number of enemies using TK in some way. You have limited health and ammo, so be careful. Someday you'll be as good as me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now it's time to learn Remote Viewing, or RV for short. Remote Viewing is an out-of-body stealth skill that allows you to see through doors and around obstructions. When using RV, you won't be able to attack. Press the Remote Viewing button, then move around like you normally would. Press it again to exit RV. Remember, Nick, you can go right through doors. Now, use RV to help find the computer terminal that unlocks the door. Now move ahead and exit the door by the terminal to get to the next test. Nick, use remote viewing to observe the path of a guard. Find cover and keep your body hidden while you're in RV. Now, move in and eliminate this enemy from behind at close range, without being discovered. Worse? Give this guy a medal. Nice work. This one's easy, Nick. I'll be into the next room and watch the enemy's patrol loop. You're good at that sneaking around stuff. Now let's move on. Hey, this is a good one. But be careful, Nick. If they discover you're there, you fail the test. Take out both guys undetected to get to the final test. Your stealth skills are improving, but are you ready for combat? Listen up, Nick. Use remote viewing to navigate this maze. You need to reach the terminal and press the button to unlock the exit door. The timer starts when you walk into the maze. Terminate anything that gets in your way.
You did an excellent job, Nick. Now let's go get some lunch. I'm starving.
Nick, you're starting to remember who you really are. Are you saying I've been brainwashed? No, memory wiped, to hide your psi abilities from the movement probes when you were captured. The shot I gave you should help reawaken your powers. No, this is crazy. Deny it all you want, but how else can you explain Well, I'm still going after my men. It's too late. They're being processed into soldiers for the movement. They're probably being converted as we speak. My men would never work for the movement. Okay, Nick, let's learn about Mind Drain, also referred to as MD. Mind Drain absorbs psionic energy from another person's brain and replenishes your psi energy. We'll start off with the basics. Eliminate this god however you'd like, then I'll tell you how to drain him. Get close to the body, then press and hold the mind drain button to drain the corpse. Hold the button down. The drain will end automatically. Draining a dead body only replenishes part of your energy. To replenish all- Okay, so let's drain a live target now. You can only drain a person who is unaware of your presence. Sneak up on the enemy from behind until you get close. Then perform the mind drain. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Those guys will never get ahead with that job. Uh, now for something a little tougher. I want you to sneak up behind each of these guards and mind drain them until they pop without being detected by either one. Go for it. Excellent. Next you replenish your power or die. For this last, last test, I'm going to deplete all of your Psi energy to start. Then, use Mind Drain to replenish all of your energy within the time limit. Anything goes, Nick. Do whatever it takes to get all of your Psi energy back.
that's draining. But one thing to remember, Nick. No brain, no drain. Headless bodies have no psi energy, so keep it in mind. Let's get out of here. It's time for a cold one. Sanders, you're not dead. Let's go, I'm getting you out of here. Sanders and he, he attacked me like some kind of zombie. They're meat puppets reprogrammed with an implant to fight for the movement. This has to stop. I'm putting this base on a commission. Get to the mainframe room. I need blueprints on this place and we need more information on the general's plans. What's that? Leave me alone. 
Sarah, I'm at the mainframe room. The door is locked. I should have known. This is a high security area. Probably the only one with a password is Jove Leonov. Leonov? He runs the Meat Puppet program. He's a former KGB psi agent and master of mind control. The password is in his office. Find a way to get it, but be careful. His powers are dangerous. Production quotas leave a lot to be desired, Leonov. The reprogramming process has taken time to perfect. <laughs> Tell that to the General. The General is quite aware of our setbacks, Barrett. But the operation is now ready to go forward. We're leaving for the Black Sea today. He expects his quotas to be met. I understand.
Find anything? Yeah, a map of the movement's compounds and blueprints of this place. Great, send me the data. Meet me in the warhead storage room off of the main silo. Where? According to these plans, there's an air duct that leads to the silo shaft from the mainframe room. Look around, you're right there. Not quite. These warheads don't have any nuclear material left, but they still have plenty of the conventional explosives. I've salvaged them for the materials we need for you to blow this base. Me? You trained for this kind of op at Mindgate. Mindgate? The secret psyops arm of the US military? They sign our paychecks. Wow. Don't you remember anything? The memory wipe allowed you to be captured. Your true memories were supposed to return once you were past the movement's mind probes. I'm sorry, Nick. Something's gone wrong, but we have to move on. According to the blueprints, this base has a major structural fault. I've marked three key locations. Placing the explosives there will take the whole place down. Mindgate is counting on us.
Help me! Please! Ah! 
a resourceful little rat that's wandered into my maze. I'll enjoy bending your mind to my will. I'm not too fond of getting my hands dirty. Instead, I take over the minds of others. They do everything I say, like good little puppets. They even see for me. <laughs>
Nick, where are you? Meet me on the landing pad. I'm on my way. Hurry, you don't have much time before the other two bombs go off. Sarah! Why did I trust her? 
Keep a low profile. I'm going in to find out what's going on. What, through the front door? They won't suspect me. But you'll have to sneak in. Meet me upstairs in the back of the assembly hall as soon as you can. Get it to the land. Now. What is this place? A front for the movement, run by Edgar Barrett, master of telekinesis and the General's right-hand man. Why didn't you tell me the General worked for Mindgate? He ran it, Nick. Up until the point he overstepped his authority and fled rather than face a military tribunal. He never had any of his own psi powers. He simply used Mindgate's agents as his pawns. Yeah, well, I don't think he's done with his old enemies. I saw Barrett with a crate that had Mindgate stenciled on it. Now find the communication room. Use this code to contact HQ. Welcome back, Nick. Get ready for your training in mind control that I may refer to as MC. With mind control, you can target an enemy or the host and take complete control of his body. You can control the host for as long as your psi powers last or until the host dies. There's a soldier in the room behind the bulletproof glass. Target the soldier and press the mind control button to begin MC. Press it again to return to your body. 
The door to the next room is locked from the inside. Now that you unlock the door, you can exit the host and move to the next area. Now we'll show these guys a little friendly fire. In this test, you will need to carefully select a soldier to mind control, then kill the other soldier in the room. someone else do the dirty work, right Nick? In this test, you will practice protecting your body during mind control. Find a cover spot, then use mind control to eliminate two soldiers. If your own body gets shot, you'll fail the test. Catching on, Nick. All right, this is the last test, and it's live combat. You're going to have to be very stealthy to eliminate the targets in this room without dying. There's a group of soldiers in this room armed with live weapons and trained to kill. It's life or death, Nick, and all you've got is mind control. Keep your body concealed and choose your host carefully. Also, find an enemy with a powerful weapon to make things easier. Good luck, and don't leave any alive. Good job, Nick. But remember, you can only control the weaker minds. It won't work on other Psy agents, so don't even try. Now, let's go get a pizza. I'm buying.
Mine gate operative 67430128. Response code Alpha Omega. Code received. Central Cortex has been breached. Repeat. Central Cortex has been compromised. All agents expect no further assistance. Disregard former assignments. Locate and return Luna 1 to Central Cortex. This mission has been... Damn it. That crate Barrett landed with. Nick! Just in time. Mine gate's gone, Sarah. Barrett attacked and wiped out HQ. We're on our own. They're looking for this, aren't they? Luna 1? What is it? I'm not sure. But whatever it is, the movement assaulted Mine gate head on to get it. The General has Barrett doing some strange experiments on it. What now? I'm going on, Nick. With or without backup from HQ. I have unfinished business with the General. Business? I infiltrated the movement to find my sister. We were both agents at Minegate, but when the General fled, she went into hiding with him. It's been years since I saw her. I'm still trying to find out if she's even alive. Now we both have a plan. You find your sister. I'll take out the General. The General and Barrett are in the factory office on the other side of the complex. Get a key card from an MP to get into the docks. I'm going to find out more about what they were doing with Luna One.
What's that? Hey, you're not supposed to be here! with Psy. Something I never had. This project will change that. Retrieve Luna One from whoever took it. I have a plan. I'll get it back. I'm leaving to oversee the fusion in Hong Kong. For that, we need Luna One. Or all we have worked for will be thrown away like garbage. Get it done! or your bloated corpse will find its way to the trash heap as well.
Scryer. Damn it! Sarah, one day that's gonna get you killed. You're going into the factory? Well, that's the plan, isn't it? Barrett's cooking up something in there related to Luna One. He's looking for you. I think you should leave Luna One with me, Nick. I mean, what if he captures you? He's more powerful than you can imagine. Yeah, I know. You never told me Barrett was my old partner. Really? I could have sworn I did. I'll keep this safe.
going to do with you, Barrett? You're supposed to be dead. How does it feel to be the General's lapdog? We did the bidding of Mind Gate for years. Do you think they revered us? Cared what happened to us? No. Not as long as they got what they wanted from their pet freaks. Mind Gate is gone. The General is the new visionary for the Psy Elite. Join us. Your memory is in pieces. You don't remember the power you used to wield? Your visionary isn't going far without his precious Luna One. I know the General's plan can't proceed without it. I don't think so. <laughs> Sarah? Sorry, Scryer. Looks like you trusted the wrong girl. <laughs> 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 Join us. Sorry, that's not gonna happen.
outside! <laughs> Welcome to my world, Nick. Let's see if you can hang with the big dog. I'm just... to stay and play, Nick, but I have business elsewhere. I gave you a choice. The offer is still open. <laughs> Bear. Damn it!
you followed. Who are you? You can call me Kamiko. I've been waiting to contact help Agent Scryer. I'm glad you've come. You working for the movement? Originally, yes. Then I realized what they were doing with my research. I've been their prisoner ever since. What research? The monolith, Agent Scryer. You've seen a fragment of it, haven't you? Luna One? The core of an ancient artifact, older than we can imagine. The General has collected the fragments. He believes they have immense, untapped power. Do they? The fragments have some sort of configuration that can activate their true purpose. Stop the General before he unlocks the secret. Now you're talking my language. Let's go. I can't be found missing from my lab. You're on your own. I'll keep in touch with this. I've tapped into the system and unlocked the doors to the control rooms. You'll have to infiltrate the data vault. I'm afraid that's all the help I can give for now. One other thing, Agent Scryer. Watch out for Wei Lu, one of the General's Psy agents. Her power of illusion can distort reality. It's her ability that keeps the base hidden from the world. I think she already introduced herself. Approaching the data vault, Agent Scryer. You need to find a way to infiltrate it and find out what the General has planned for the monolith.
Amiko. This is incredible. I'm sending the data now. Based on this archive, the two world wars were fought over the ownership of the monolith fragments because of their link to Psy abilities. During World War II, the Americans and Russians were successful in seizing the fragments Germany had stockpiled. Then, during the Cold War, the two superpowers developed their own Psy programs around the fragments. My grandfather led the American research team that eventually became MindGate. I picked up his work after he died, and that's when I met General Krieger. The General's next step is to reassemble the fragments of the monolith with a fusion process. I fear its power may be immeasurable. You need to get going. Let's get started, Nick. Pyrokinesis is the ability to use your mind to create fire. I'll refer to it as PK from now on. Target the objects in front of you and press the pyrokinesis button. You're just warming up, Nick. Good job, Nick. You can go to the next area. By lighting flammable objects on fire, it is possible to cause a chain reaction. Light the crates on fire to blow up that barrel at the end of the line. Lighting a stick of dynamite. Now get through the door for further training. Alright, now you'll light up some live targets. Now try to lead the enemy's movement. Hit him on the run. These guys are mean. They'll evade your attack and try to kill you. Good job! They kind of dance when they're hot. Now move on to the next section. Alright, last test. Live combat. You know the drill. Don't screw up. I want you to use PK and any other means necessary to get the job done. Good luck. Handy next time you go camping. Mmm, marshmallows. I'm gonna die! Agent Scryer, get a key card from one of the guards to take the elevator to the floor below. Make your way to the fusion building, but be careful. Wei Lu will try and stop you.
remorseful little rat that's wandered into my maze. have seen too much. Besides, what the boys down at Central don't know won't kill them. Or will it? <laughs> What's going on? Let's do this quick. No need to drag it out.
Agent Scryer. Get a key card from one of the guards to take the elevator to the floor below. Make your way to the fusion building, but be careful. Wei Lu will try and stop you. <laughs> Place of peace and reflection. It is where I enter the minds of man and see the innermost fears. Don't you want to know who you are? What you're capable of? I showed you just a glimpse of who you really are. I have a whole gallery full of your past. What are your favorites? Fears don't lie, Scryer. You feel your true self, your true essence. You fear to trust your own memories. 
And so, they stay hidden. Perhaps, like your memories, your senses cannot be trusted as well. the general for delusion of the mind is still deadly to the soul <laughs>
see your true self. You feel your past. You fear your destiny. And so you're trapped by fate. What did you see? Tell me. I saw what you cannot remember. You have the power. The power to stop the general. That is why you were... Five. 
pressure increased to 5.4 kilowatts. Nick, it's me. Where have you been? Back off. What's going on? You left me on the shores of the Black Sea. Don't play me for a fool, Sarah. Whose side are you on? I don't know what you're talking about. I do know you're looking for a way to stop the fusion process. What do you know about it? The General built this complex to fuse the fragments together. The object we had was the central piece to a powerful artifact. Luna One, I know. That fragment was discovered on the moon in the 50s, Nick. The U.S. and the Soviets both detected it and raced to get to it first. And you gave it back to this maniac? What are you talking about? Why would I do that? Sarah, I can't afford to trust you. Take this. It's a key card for the armory on this floor. Good luck, Nick. I hope you make it. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
that red-headed woman with the general. Marlena Kessler. She fled East Germany's psi programs when the wall came down. The only thing more unpredictable than her pyrokinesis is her temper. Be careful, Agent Scryer. The setup checks will have to be bypassed. I won't tolerate any more delays. You don't know what you're asking. The fusion process is highly unstable. Our security has been compromised. Weilu's cloaking has gone down. The process must be completed before UN troops reach us. Damn it, Scryer. You should be dead. Deal with it. Do you like playing with fire?
Isn't it beautiful? It's everything we've worked for. Back away from it. Ah! Ah! The fusion apparatus is in overload. We activated it too early. I have what I need. Get rid of him. Finish your job. Yeah.
coming after you. Forget it. I've already made it to the reactor control room. If I'm lucky, I can contain the reaction to a few city blocks instead of the entire city. You have to stop the general. You won't survive. And if I don't do this, millions die. Now go. Don't let my death be in vain. It's great to see you again. You wouldn't shoot an old friend, would you? That voice. I know you. Wrightson. We worked together at Minegate. You were a master spy who took remote viewing further than anyone else. How nice of you to remember. And they said your memory was full of holes. I spied on the world for the General. And now reduced to acting as his god dog. Where is the general? Oh, gone to find glory in the depths of the mountain. Oh, we have your friend here. Sarah? Yes, but not for long. <laughs> Nick, help. I'm in a prison. There are creatures everywhere. Please hurry. This is your last training session, Nick and only a few Psy agents have mastered this one. Today you will learn a unique power called Aura View, or AV for short. Aura View allows you to see details that aren't visible in the real world. In this room, you'll notice a group of objects that look identical to the naked eye. But in Aura View, you can clearly see the differences in these objects. Press the Aura View button to observe their differences, then exit the room when you're finished. Gotcha! Now you're trapped with no visible way out. Use all of you to search for structural weaknesses. Then use any means to break through these faults. Continue with this search and destroy technique until you make it to the next room. Welcome to the boardroom, Nick. This time you'll use AV to view remnants of the past. Some boards may contain valuable information, and others may prove quite useless. Press the Aura View button to take a look. Now we can 
it's dangerous. The enemy has placed mines ahead. Use all of you to find a safe path without getting killed. Don't try to shoot the mines, Nick. It won't do any good. I'm going to start the clock on this one, so good luck. That was a walk in the park for you. Okay, Nick. Here's a very normal room, right? <laughs> Guess again. Although I've never seen it. Some people say you can use AV to view things or life forms. Like some kind of creatures from a different realm or something. Aura view also allows you to detect whether or not the enemy is aware of your presence. Just remember, Nick. You're never alone. Squire, now you're one of Mind Gate's elite. You're the first to master all six side powers. Just don't let it get to your head. <laughs> Are you hungry? Damn, I'm starving. There's a little place I know down the block. Don't move. They'll sense you when you move. What are those things? They're all around us, Nick. Sometimes invisible. Use your aura view to sense them. Sarah! Sarah?
Nick, what's wrong? <laughs> no! Scryer's gone. It's my body now. <laughs> oh, get out of my head! Oh. Nick? Are you okay? Yeah. What are you doing here? Turns out the General was using me all along. Now he's come here to unlock the power of the monolith. Yeah. Well, I'm here to stop him. I'll help. If you'll trust me. Do I have a choice? We can split up and look for the General. But look out for Wrightson and these creatures. They seem to be under his control. He really seems to be toying with us. Nick, I know where the General is. We need to get through the tower. I have a plan, so meet me upstairs on the terrace.
your plan? The temple tower leads to a door at its top. We need to find a way through it. But it's full of those things. But the creatures may have a weakness. They seem to be attracted to our brainwaves, yet repulsed by our psi energy. If we can boost your energy, we may be able to scatter them. This is a psychotronic device that amplifies psi waves. Go on. Make your way to the satellite uplink station. Once inside, hook up the device and aim the dish at the tower. If it works, the creatures will scatter. How do I get there? Look for a secret door that leads out to the mountainside. There should be a switch for it in the temple somewhere. I'll meet you in the tower once it's clear. Good luck, Nick.
This is the place. The ancient monks worshipped a fragment of the monolith here, and like the monks, I have given up my physical existence to find the truth. I have become the true god of the ether. You've entered RV permanently? Where's your body? In a safe place. The general thinks that he's going to gain the power of a god. <laughs> I already wield that power. This is my temple now. With my abilities, I see all and know all. I pierce the soul and control the mind. I control creatures from beyond our dimension and make them do my bidding. What are these abilities, if not the toys of a god? Where's the general? I will steal the power from him. He can't leave me behind to play god dog in his hour of glory. And that is why I need you. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Nick, the tower's clear. Meet me at the top. I found a laboratory. They're attuned to our individual brainwaves set up like watchdogs by Wrightson. It seems the movement set up a kill switch to protect themselves and eradicates the creatures for a while. There's a control room past the lab, but you'll need to find the correct frequency for setting the switch. Look around for it.
This data vault stores everything rights and spies on. The moon? But Luna 1 was retrieved in the late 60s. Doing a little homework, sis? Tanya? Your sister? Nice to see you again, Scryer. Thanks for Luna 1. I've been searching for you. Of course! The General had me go into hiding to draw you to him. He used you to keep tabs on Mindgate. After our parents died, we only had each other. How could you betray me for the general? It was because our parents died that we were taken in by Mindgate. I wanted that to happen. Our parents would have never let us harness our true power. I killed them to ensure our future. No. Wrightson. Ready to play? Sarah! <laughs> the final phase draws near. Follow me if you want to save Sarah!
She's beyond saving. I know. I'm going after the general. Nick, if we don't meet again, I... We will.
Impressive, isn't it? This is where it all started. Where the general found the first piece of the monolith. And now we are going to unlock its power. What happened to you, Barrett? We were partners once. We fought for a free world. A free world? For who? Surely not for those of us that were born as psychic freaks. They used us used us for their own ends and discarded us when we became a problem. Or have you forgotten that as well? No. I've remembered a lot of things, Barrett. I fought the General's plans at Mindgate. I remember that now. I fought you and your goal of ruling the Psy Elite. Mundane humans may have used us, but that doesn't give us the right to destroy them. The General and I will acquire ultimate power. No one can stop us. Soon all the world will worship us as gods. did like me best, bitch. <laughs> Take care of this. <laughs> we excavated this site after we discovered the artifact in the temple. It took us years to study, to rebuild these devices in our factory on the Black Sea. The monolith. The monolith is the key. It was created to work within the unique gravitational signature of the Earth system. But over the millennia, the moon has shifted in its orbit, weakening the monolith's power. Barrett's TK amplifier will fix that. Oh. 
power of the monolith is now restored. But true power is not meant to be shared. <laughs>
He's gone? No one will ever unlock the power of the monolith again. Looks like we have help. That's no help. I remember everything now. Let's get on it. 